what's going on guys doing a little video today on my simple bgc gui settings uh, for my gimbal this is the uh, good luck buy gimbal i have on here and um, so we're just going to be going over some of the settings that i'm using right now and in my previous videos so uh, there is a lot of information out there on this and what everything means i highly recommend um, just starting off by reading the manual um, you really have to do that at the bare minimum please read the manual so let's go ahead and start off with what the roll is here. I don't know if you guys can see this, and I apologize for the screen banding, all the vertical lines, or the yeah, horizontal lines. Uh, for my roll, the PID settings are 5.05 and 13 for the D. Now, these settings um, are okay, and let me show you what it feels like. So this is, we're just tapping the roll here. I'm going to kind of go through what each one of these things mean, the PID and then the power. So um, as you can see here, I'm just kind of tapping the camera quite softly, actually, and it's moving. But when I try to throw off the pitch, there's a lot more resistance. And uh, we're going to get into that in a second, but that's because the power on the pitch is a lot higher. So, so I'm going to start off by raising the power. To, uh, I'll just put it at 90 and I'll write that okay let me go back to this and it's a little stronger so we're gonna go to the roll here the P I think I'm gonna leave the P the same the I is probably gonna be the same but let me show you what these things do so if I put the P at 0 and I'll write that makes it really really soft but once it loses position it may not come back so I like to keep it somewhere between like 3 to 5 so I'll, let me set it really high I'll put it to uh, 20 so now I just kinda barely touch it when it goes out of position it wants to recorrect itself you know, almost instantly. I'll put it to uh, 45. Let's see what that does. And it's even worse. Now it's now it's vibrating pretty bad. High speed oscillations. So I'll drop that back down to five. And that might be okay. So for the eye, I'm gonna go ahead and put that to zero. So I'll show you what that does here. So the eye is actually controlling how fast the gimbal will bring itself back to the neutral position or the level position in my case um, so if I push this out of position um, the gimbal has power to move itself back but it won't because I set the eye at zero so the the eye is like the speed at which it moves back to the level position so if I put it at 0 0.01 I'll write that as you can see, it, it is moving back, but it's quite slow. If I set it really high, let's let's do 0.3. It bounces back quite fast, so I'll actually drop this down to 0.1. I think that might be okay. Maybe. So for the D, let's drop that down to zero. And that's not what you want. Let's go ahead and cut the motors off there for a second. So going to the manual here, the the D, the definition of the D, the D value reduces the reaction speed. So this value helps to remove low frequency oscillations. And it says the D value, if it's too high, can cause high frequency oscillations, uh, particularly when the IMU sensor is exposed to vibrations. So obviously we don't really have any vibrations right here because it's just sitting on the desk. Uh, let's turn the motors back on. And uh, so let's actually set the D to 1. And that's, that's still not what we want. You know, when, once I tap it out of position, it keeps trying to correct itself. But it's like kind of sluggish. It, when it goes one way, then the other way, you know, it doesn't want to stabilize itself right away. So I'll set this to 10. I 
it actually, well, let's, let's raise it up a little bit. Let's try 14. Okay, that might be okay. So going to the power here, um, so some of the videos you might have watched of mine recently, uh, there's been some vibrations or what it looks like vibrations in the video. And, um, you know, for the most part, when the quad is just sitting there hovering, the video quality is pretty good. There really isn't any jello effect or anything. Um, but it's when I'm flying that it's when you really see it. So um, I think what's happening was I had the power set at 50. And um, let's go ahead and lower this all the way down. I'll put it to like 10 so you can see what this thing does. Now, if you adjust the power, you should also adjust your P and D. So let's write 9 for the roll power. And it's super, super soft. You know, if I set it to 0, it's, it's not going to do anything. So the power represents... Uh, the battery voltage given to the gimbal uh, to hold its position. So it ranges anywhere between 0 to 255. 255 maximum voltage. So if I set it to, I had it at 50. You know, if you set this thing to 255, which I highly do not recommend, um, it's, it gets rock solid. I mean, you can move it out of position, but it's like really, really stiff. And um, so it's, you know, the motors are getting a lot of power, but they're more prone to overheating if you set the power that high. So let's do, let's actually do 110, see how that does. That might be okay. Let's, let's go back and raise the P. Let's raise it up. Let's, let's raise it up to uh, 33. Let's see what that does. really really touchy actually let's right, drop it down to 10 let's drop it down to 5 okay maybe 7 that might be, actually be okay all right, so um, so that's for the roll. The same thing happens with the pitch. Um, I think I might actually be okay with these pitch settings. So for the pitch for the PID, I have two, and point zero four and nine, and uh, so I might just leave it like that. Maybe even let's see if I can raise the let's see if I can raise the P a little bit. See what that does. Raises the ten. The pitch seems to be really strong, though. So let's drop this down to, let's just drop it down to two. Let's see how that feels. So if I drop it to one, I can move the camera, the Mobius, out of position just a little bit further before it skips and then wants to correct itself again. So if I bring it up to 10, you barely have to move the camera hardly any amount and it tries to recorrect itself. So I'm thinking Something like a four would probably be okay. Okay, so I think I'll leave the settings right there. And really guys, this whole thing is nothing but trial and error. It does kind of suck though, because you gotta you know change your settings, uh, take it out to fly, record some video, Bring it back and watch the video on your computer or something because a lot of times you can't really see what's going on if you have video goggles or, a, you know, a FPV monitor or something. You can't really see the subtle vibrations happening or the jello, um, but you can see it when you put it on the screen like this. Now taking a look at the other tabs I have here, this is what my advanced tab looked like. I really haven't changed much 
with uh, any settings on the other tabs. So for RC settings. Now I actually have it set up so that um, one of the knobs on my 9XR transmitter controls the pitch. So this is how I have it set up here for that. There's a service tab. Uh, follow mode. I haven't really used this. I cannot seem to get this thing right for the life of me. Real-time data. So it seems pretty stable right now. So one thing to note when looking at these dials here is um, this uh, for instance this roll here so if you so if I rotate the camera the, the so the dials are supposed to uh, represent the position of the camera or the gimbal if you were standing behind the gimbal looking out in the direction where the camera is pointing so if you move the camera this way it's supposed to actually go the other way that is showing on here. So the way to correct that is to go to uh, the basic tab and then you want to change the sensor to negative X. So it's on X and then I change it to negative X. Okay, so now when I so now the, accelerate, the accelerometer is not calibrated so let me just go ahead and do that real quick. And I have this little thing right here. I'll just kill the motors for a second. I use this to level this gimbal. And then I hit calibrate accelerometer. Okay, turn the motors back on. All right, so now if I rotate that gimbal, the roll goes the other direction. So that's what you want. How much of a difference does that actually make? I don't really know. <laughs> uh, but that's what the manual says and it's just how I'm gonna do it now. I'll just uh, have to take it out and fly and see what happens. Well, let me know if you guys have any questions, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.